Hi peoples, welcome back to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender and today I'm making a Smoke and Mirrors by Melissa Yard from the Josephine Wine Bar. Mezcal, orange liqueur, a couple of spices in there. Um, this is kind of like a mezcal margarita. It is. Mezcal margarita with ginger syrup, spices, and jalapeno. So I'm excited. I love margaritas. I love spicy margaritas. I love smoky margaritas with mezcal. So this is going to be this is going to be a winner. Um, I'm going to do things the correct way and crack my egg first. I normally do it last, and surprisingly, no one's called me up on it. But of course, most people do their cheapest ingredients first, cheapest to most expensive, just in case they make a mistake. That way you haven't wasted any ingredients. Um, I've always been in the mindset, I'm like, just don't make a mistake. Oh, that's, yeah, it sounds arrogant, but no. I'm like, just, it doesn't happen. It happens so rare when you're making drinks and you're, you're reading a recipe or you've got a recipe in your mind that you're doing, so it's not, it's not too bad. Uh, so I've got one egg white in there and then I'm measuring 45 mil, 1.5 ounces of Vida Mezcal. 45 one ounce, and then your choice of orange liqueur. This particular recipe, uh, I think I found it on imbibe.com, didn't call for an orange liqueur. I literally just got this yesterday. Uh, Clement, which is uh, a French Caribbean orange liqueur, and it's made with a rum agricole, whole bunch of different spices, and it is amazing. It's the first time I've had it. I keep seeing it around, and it's exceptional. It's delicious. 15 mil, half an ounce. So I figure because we're already using some spice, you've got smoke from the mezcal, you've got some jalapeno in this one, um, some ginger. I feel like those particular flavors will go well with this orange liqueur and those spices that are featured in it. Uh, then we have ginger syrup, 15 ml, half an ounce. And it looks pretty cloudy because it's unfiltered. 15 ml, half an ounce of pineapple syrup. I'll leave a link to the pineapple syrup in the description below. Please note that it's only available for Patreon uh, supporters. Now this is unfiltered and there's a lot of ginger in my ginger syrup. So I'm just gonna go for three slices of jalapeno. I, I think there's enough spice, enough heat in there already that that's gonna be perfectly fine. Lots of ice into the cocktail shaker and shake for 12 or 15 seconds. And you should drive shake first. I'll reverse dry shake. I've always been in the mindset, I'm like, just don't make a mistake. It doesn't happen, it happens so rare when you're making drinks. Don't forget your lime juice. <laughs> I love how I was just talking about making mistakes and how it rarely happens. <laughs> that was just karma. <laughs> so 30 mil, one ounce of lime juice. So a lot of people swear by the reverse dry shake. They think it gives a superior foam to a cocktail, but I think it's a little bit counterintuitive normally because I've just made the cocktail as cold as I can and now I'm putting my warm hands with no ice and I'm warming that cocktail just a little bit. So that's why I usually prefer not to do it, but it does make a really good foam. So double strain into that chilled coupe. And I'm sure you can see on camera that it does make a superior foam. Like reverse dry shaking works really well. Now for garnish, this one calls for a one to one to one ratio of sugar, salt, and cayenne pepper. Just sprinkle on the top. 
So in this one, there's spice in the orange liqueur, you got the smoke from the mezcal, you've got spices from the ginger syrup, spice from the jalapeno. So this should be a winner. I can see from that reverse dry shake that the, the foam is really tight. There's like lots of small bubbles as opposed to big bubbles. So the retention on that foam will be really good. Cheers. That's a wicked drink. I think that's a perfect balance of smoke and spice. The mezcal shines through. There's nothing that's overtaking the cocktail. I actually, I wouldn't mind going a little bit more jalapeno, to be honest. Um, this is delicious. Excellent variation. It's like a margarita sour. I absolutely love this. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.